Time for no I doth return. So, that, so the the dragon song did happen. That fucking bastard stripped me of Highland's blessing. Oh, everybody hanging out here. I wonder if they have the same dialogue lines. Have you spoken with Commander Levayer yet? He has been pacing again. <laughs> Totaro. Twelve, save me. Is it coming? What should we do? Oh, he's not. <laughs> the, the dragon. May God Stormer? No, he's not. The Lady Knight from Ishgard cuts quite a galleon figure, doesn't she? <laughs> Flahamine over here swooning. Considering the sudden arrival of foreign envoys and the like, preparing suitable meals for the Rising Stones can prove to be an interesting challenge. We were able to locate those elusive manuscripts in the archives of Thumaturge's guild. I had not spoken much with the new guild masters, but thankfully they were quite willing to accommodate us in our search. Though it may seem tedious when compared to the smiting of terrible foes, poring over crumbling, crumbling scrolls is one of the science's most important duties. Without the illumination of knowledge, we but vainly flail at specters in the dark. Well said, Yishtola. Yishto Nita? I traveled to Ulthar to meet with Thancred's friend, the one who promised us the rare ore, and she began cursing me with words I've only heard from the mouths of pirates. I still have no idea what she was so angry about. In hindsight, mayhap sending a lady in my stead was not the wisest decisions. Ah, uh, pray ignore my ramblings. Oh, Mumbrida, for I shall hear. I'm pushing ahead with my research as quickly as I dare. The next time you face an Asian, I would have you fight with a proper weapon in hand. I must confess, the relationship between those crystal formations and the destruction of the Asians quite escapes me. Professor Lam Bird has published a, th a thorough study on corrupted crystals and their properties. I highly recommend you procure yourself a copy of the work. Okay. That everybody. So let's go talk to Alphano. Oh, Uriange. Truth interpreted is truth transformed. Today's heroes may yet become tomorrow's gods, or something else. Okay, Rianger, cryptic as always. Welcome home, Kelvin. Alphana was worried this sick about you. Why don't you go and set his mind at ease? Yeah, shit. So, um, I survived, but, you know, here's my dragon buddy, and, uh, stripped of Hadlin's blessing, you know, that's... This happens. Also, yeah, shit's going down in Ishgard. One of the sons of Midgon Somer stirs and calls the dragons to fucking annihilate it. Praise the Twelve, you are hale and whole. I came as soon as Minfili informed me of Sir Amaric's request. You have completed your investigation of the Keeper of the Lake, I take it. Then I would hear your report. Yeah, shit went down. You conversed with Midgard Somer. I swear, were anyone else to make such a claim, I would regard it with considerable skepticism. Listen, ma'am. Trust me, I totally did it. In fact, here's Mini. <laughs> no, I think he might have, like, I think he disappears and reappears as he wills it. He just is here to observe. Are we to understand that the Worm Lord did not perish and has in sooth lain dormant these past 15 years? Aye, it seems the case. Less a resurrection and more a rejuvenation for he who dwelleth in eternity. Years passing as moments. Though his words were ambiguous at times, one statement left little room for interpretation. Oh, I, I really relay the, the, the shit word for word here. My people have heard the song, Ishgard shall burn. I. Clearly, an attack is imminent. We must share this information with Sir Amerk immediately. However, we dare not divulge your conversation with Midgard Zomer in its entirety. To even acknowledge that you heard the voice of a Dravanian is a grave but necessary risk. Lest we forget, men have been executed as heretics for declaring as much. 
but I'm blessed with the echo. It's what I do. We don't have to. We can just say, yeah, we went there and we read the signs and it seems that definitely things are going down and that one of the sons did it. How do we know this? We felt the vibes. <laughs> for your own protection and for the sake of our tenuous relationship with Ishgard, the truth cannot leave this room. Nod. Also nod. As for how we shall prevent our revelation to Sir Imerick's em emissary, you may leave that to me. Pray, remain here for now. So he's going to talk with the Lady Knight. Is there something you're not telling us, Kelowin? Oh, did I not tell them that he stripped me of Hydaelyn's blessing? You seem different somehow. Tis almost as if you're missing something. Something important. Okay, so I didn't mention this because apparently I didn't want to tell everybody. I didn't want to give them, make them worry. Um, but yeah, he totally stripped me of Highland's blessing. He shot me straight through the heart with a fucking golden laser. Twelve Refend. Midgard Zomer stripped you of the blessing of light? Are you alright? How do you feel? Dude, man, I'm perfectly fine. He didn't hurt me, but you know. The light doth waneth. As Ariane would say. I see. It's a relief to hear that you are otherwise unharmed. Yeah, when he shot a laser through my chest, I thought for sure I was fucking screwed. <laughs> but it turns out he just severed the bond. It beggars belief that any being could possess the power to deprive, deprive you of her blessing. Hmm. Midgard Zomer made mention of a covenant, did he not? He did. He's following to observe. One of the ancient myths regarding Silver Tear Fall states that when the water came into existence, so too did the Great Worm. Althic and Nymia, Brother Time and Sister Fate, decreed that Midgard Zomer ever watch over the source, from which all water and magic was said to flow. Althic and Nymia being uh, of, the, of the Twelve Gods. I wonder, what if this was the covenant of which he spoke, and twas not the gods for whom he treated, but Hydaelyn herself? Who knows? Well, if he is watching over you, as he claimed, mayhap he will have an opportunity to ask. I'd love to ask him questions. I doubt he'll answer. He seems cryptic. Occasionally. I mean, I also wanted to know why he struck me with Hydaelyn's blessing, but, you know. We didn't actually get to ask that, and he never answered anything really in that regard. Let us keep this matter to ourselves. I do not wish to burden our friends needlessly. That's apparently why I kept it to myself. Oh, there you blow, you wee little dragon bastard. You decide to come out now? Art thou a pawn or master of thy fate? Listen, I just help people. But to be fair enough, I do do what I'm told pretty often. Hey, go do this. Hey, go do that. I totally do those things. But you know, you don't need to be on my case in that about it. What hast thou wrought by in thine own hands, mortal? I have fought a many things. But I'm not, I'm not, I'm not looking for some grand empire or city building, if that's what you're asking. That's not my, my deal. I travel around and help people. Saved lives, dude. That's what, that's what I have wrought by my own hands. Life saving. Fucking dragons. <laughs> That's what that face was. <laughs> Shake it off. My friend, I can scarce believe it. You confronted the Worm Lord and lived to tell the tale. 
yeah, it was crazy madness. Uh, shit went down high. Doth feared for my life, but, uh, you know, we're okay. How much you tell her off now? Why do you give the head thing? I give thanks to Heloni for your preservation. It is our sole cause for gladness. Your encounter with the Keeper of the Lake served to confirm our fears. Mm -hmm. A great worm has roared, and it makes little difference if it was one of the two in Eorzea, or any other. So there's two in Eorzea, and if it's not Midgard Somer, then it, we're not counting Midgard Somer, then there's two others. And maybe others in other continents? The Dravanians are coming. That they are. I am told that Ishgard has magical defenses against Dravanian attack, though I am not privy to their exact nature. I'm taking a sip Will of water. Will they be enough to repel a massive force? Ishgard has weathered countless assaults over centuries. This will be no different. And now that you have confirmed the threat, none can ignore the Lord Commander's calls for the wards to be strengthened. I dare not presume to speak for him, but I expect the Lord Commander would sing your praises. I must away, but we shall meet he again He is my soon. number one fan. Thus far. He did say he's he's been following my ta my tale. Lucia, I believe her name was. Good day. Countless assaults weathered, and this will be no different? Why am I not convinced? Maybe because Midgard Zomer is involved? Well, sort of, not really. He just said he heeds the call. Otherwise, you know, if they've weathered countless assaults of the like, why not be convinced? Unless you got an ill feel on Alphano. <laughs> These guardians have warred with the Dravanians for centuries. Nay, nearly 1,000 years. In all that time, not once have their enemies breached their defenses and entered the city proper. Yet regardless of how strong these magical wards may be, I nevertheless fear that these guardians are un underestimating the gravity of the situation. Though it was not Midgard Zomer who roared, a call to arms by one of the first brood cannot be ignored. Until such time as they choose to request our aid, however, we can do not but observe the situation at a distance and pray that our fears are unfounded. Yeah, they're not gonna, we can't just waltz and be like, we're gonna take shit over and do shit for you guys. Or we're gonna investigate ourselves. Yeah, they gotta reach out to us. So I guess we could investigate of our own will, especially, you know, after the talk with Iceheart. But that would involve maybe putting the Ish Guardians on our bad side, so we don't want that. Complete. All right. Alphano has a message from Moonbrita for for the Scions. Ere I forget, I believe Moonbrita has requested a gathering of the Scions. I assume there has been some progress considering our efforts to combat the Asians. Pray inform her that our business with these guardians is concluded for the moment. I shall be along once I've completed my communications with the Crystal Braves. Okie dokie, anything else to say, Alphano? Would you be so kind? Okay, yeah, 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 okay. Now, will you rejoin us forthwith? Okay, Moonbrita. Lass. All done with your talk of, uh, talk of dragons. Wonderful, because Asians are next on the menu. Let's head to the solar, shall we? Alright. A little bit unnecessary, we could have all just started at the solar. <laughs> Feel you anything else to say? 
I summoned everyone to the soul where it would seem Umbria has something exciting to share with us. Now that everything's calmed down a bit, relatively speaking, I mean, I thought it might be a good time to share our progress on the weapon. <laughs> it never calms down, only uh, slows down a little. The weapon. I believe we're on the verge of a breakthrough. Well, don't keep us all in suspense. Just in case anyone's forgotten, let's start by reviewing what we already know. So, an Asian is an immortal because its soul doesn't return to the ethereal realm when its host is defeated. Instead, it flees to the place that lies between our world and the void. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Therefore, the first step to permanently defeating an Asian is preventing its soul from making this journey. And if you recall, when we last gathered here, I had verified that White Aurasite has adequate capacity to entrap the beings, albeit only briefly. And Which that's when we freaking use Aether to fucking destroy it. But we need a lot of Aether, and that's where we're just like, let's use the big, the big uh, blade of light that uh, that you summoned with uh, with Hydalin. Aye. To unmake an Asian soul, one must needs smite it with a concentrated burst, or blade, of purest ether. However, we wanted for both the data and the means to forge such a weapon. Short of experimenting on an actual Asian, you see, there's no way to gauge how much ether its soul is made of. As such, we don't know what etheric density our blade needs to have in order for it to work. So just hit it with everything we got that won't destroy us in the process. So we'll just have to make the densest blade we can and hope for the best. Though that would require a lot of ether. Hang on a minute! Why didn't we think of this before? White Aurasite can hold an absolute heap of ether, can't it? Please tell me you're joking. God's sakes, Ida. I feel as though I'm reliving the same scene over and over with you. How many times do you need to be told that White Aurasite cannot store ether for long periods? Hmm. She did. I think she did suggest this before. Being intangible matter, ether is given to dispersion. Only in its crystallized form is it a stable source of energy. I will test you later on this, so see to it you do not forget. Uh, right, yes. It's all coming back to me. <laughs> Poor Ida. So our hopes rest on good old crystals again, do they? While they are certainly reliable, they leave something to be desired in the area of portability. Indeed. I am reminded of the quantity of corrupted crystals required to thwart Leviathan, and the extraordinary lengths to which the Lamentsons went to transport them. What if it should prove that a similar quantity was needed to destroy an Asian soul? Or still more? Now we needed two boatloads of freaking uh, corrupted crystals for that shit. I do not envy the poor sod who has to lug all of that around on the off chance that an Asian appears. So you're saying, potentially, six boatloads. That's the very problem we set out to solve. And I reckon we've found the answer. If it isn't practical to lug around the ether we need, we'll just have to draw upon another source. And the only viable source is the land. You're saying we're going to draw from the life stream itself? If you mean to tap the Great River of Ether, know that it will entail considerable risk. Meddling with the currents may well induce a surge like to the one which despoiled Mordona.
You mean like the, like the one that caused the earthquake? Or like the one that when the when the when uh Yeah, I don't know what despoiled Mordona. <laughs> Give me a bit more credit, will you? Why would we need to tap the river when there are veritable reservoirs jutting out all over the land? So you're saying we need to lure an Ashian to a giant crystal? Aye, I speak of corrupted crystals. It might be that their aspect is out of balance, but a crystal's a crystal. It contains ether, and we can help ourselves to it. So it's, it's corrupted because it's not, like, refined to a certain element, or, like... What does it mean, out of balance? Or is it, you know, because it's balance of elements is all out of whack, or, like, what? While corrupted crystals are indeed abundant, there is no guarantee that they will be in close proximity at a crucial moment. Mm-hmm. But what if we don't need them to be? What if we could tap their power from afar? A uh, malm away, say? Oh? If we could do that, we'd have ready access to either a plenty in almost every corner of Eorzea. I've yet to put my theories to the proof, but I've got a good feeling about this. If no one has any objections, I'd like to see where this avenue leads. If you think it's worth your while, you have my blessing. I mean, it's as good as plan as any, as in it's a plan. That doesn't potentially lead to disaster. But tell us, what are your theories? I, for one, am most eager to understand the process. However vaguely. I thought you might say that, but no one wants to listen to boring old theories all day, do they? I know I don't. So with your permission, I'd like to try something a bit more hands-on. I've already built an etheric siphon especially for this purpose, and I've been meaning to try it out. I mean, okay, as long as it's not dangerous. Thing is, the profusion of corrupted crystals in Mordona makes it something of a high-risk testing ground. If anything goes awry with okay, the siphon, let's go somewhere else then. it would be better if it didn't happen within spitting distance of quite so much ether. Maybe there's shit ton of crystals around here. I need an isolated specimen. Does anyone know where I can find one? Anybody? May I suggest Northern Thanalam? There you will find corrupted crystals of middling size, standing a reasonable distance apart. Ideal for your needs, I should have thought. Oh, and if you do elect to visit the place, I should be much obliged if oh, you would assist no. me in another matter while you are in the area. Two birds, one stone, you know what I'm saying? Has something happened? Shit's still going down with your fucking crystal braves. Some of them are sus, Alpha No, some of them are sus. Movement has been observed at Castrum Meridianum. Oh no. During Operation Archon, the Alliance dealt the stronghold a heavy blow. Its facilities were extensively damaged, and its garrison reduced to a fraction of its former strength. Okay. Not long after our forces withdrew, however, their ranks were replenished by reinforcements from Castrum Sentry. They now seek to rebuild. And to this end, they have their sights set upon the Ceruleum Processing Plant. Having lost the Empire's support, the 14th Legion lacks the resources to sustain itself. To them, this is a bid for survival, and they will doubtless fight like desperate men. So the Empire just, like, abandoned them after, like, uh... I think Gaius, I think Gaius von Belzar continued with this, uh, with this plan even though the Empire said no. Though I have dispatched the Crystal Braves, I fear their strength alone may not suffice to stay the Imperial Assault. I would request the Scion's aid in the defensive effort. If I didn't know better, Hi. I'd say you were trying to inveigle us into fighting or battle with the promise of shiny crystals. That is totally what he's doing. He's requesting well, then, our aid, but he's just like, hey, you guys can do that too. I won't lie, the Inveigled. crystals you speak of sound perfect, so the Garleans have to go. Pfft. 
Besides, we can't afford to beat about the bush. There's no telling when the Arsians will next appear. Yeah, the Arsians are hiding every, around every corner. Thine eagerness to hurl thyself into the jaws of danger cometh as little surprise. Exercise due caution, I prithee. Though you have become a crystal brave, you are yet a scion, Alfino. We could hardly refuse you. I concur. You could have just asked us. Pray, join the crystal braves and lend them your support. Thangrid and Papalimo shall accompany you. Okay. But Ida not Ida? Yestola, okay. In the meantime, I would have you assist Moonbreda. Scout out the crystal clusters, that the testing may commence as soon as the Galian threat has been eliminated. If it please you, I shall continue mine own experiments on white orosite. Thank you, Ariange. Everyone, pray see to your preparations and depart as soon as you're able. Go well, and be safe. Alrighty, alrighty, off to Norman Thanalan, I guess. Honestly, let's talk to my Billy real quick. Though I have little doubt you will prevail against the Empire's forces, I shall pray for your success nonetheless. Our very future may depend upon Moonbrita being free to pursue her experiments. Okay. Alright. Let's keep on going then. Speak with Alphano. Now. It would seem that events have once more conspired to rob us of the rest of rest and recuperation. Though I would wish it otherwise, I must ask that you head straight away to the processing plant. The fourth have already de deployed to the area and await the arrival of the Scions. Will Red will brief you on the developing situation. Meanwhile, I must rendezvous with Captain Ilbert at our headquarters in Ulda. I shall take command of our forces there with a lighter heart, knowing that you go to support the front lines. Wait, hold on, we get a cutscene? What happened here? Why, why are we looking away? What happened? Who are talking to us? Your duties take you to Northern Thailand, do they not? We're talking to the B team. We too must say our farewells to the Rising Stones for a time. For the Harman travels to Ulda, and we shall serve as her escort. Oh, where are you going? At my daughter's behest, I go to contact certain old acquaintances in the Gilded City. We are beset on all sides by civil unrest and imperial machinations. Threatened by primals and troubled by dragons. We need all the allies we can muster. Many of our friends hold positions of power, you see. It is my hope that they can be convinced to aid the Scion's cause. If past events have taught us anything, then we know that Eorzea must present a united front or we shall fall. Ah, uh, how extraordinary that my little Cilia is involved in such far-reaching affairs. I am proud that I might now stand at her side, not only as a mother, but also as a colleague. A colleague with influential connections, but I fear that Udla has become a, a place of danger, even for one so familiar with her streets. Bah, woe betide the black guard that so much as glares in your direction, milady. This guy. Ah ha ha. I shall be well protected, it seems. Shall we be on our way then? Huzzah, friend. B team, roll out. Okay, you did do it once? Okay, good. Yeah, it only appeared once to me, so. All right. Oh, we gotta go all the way to the Cerulean Processing Plant. Okay, okay. 
Let's check then. Travel. Wait, 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 wait. We'll see where it is on the map first. Let's go over the map. Banalan. Oh, it's right here. Okay, we'll teleport to here then. second here. I'm reading this question. It says, it seems that the Call of Duty shall once more empty the rising stoves of the Orsian stalwart defenders. That seems, that seems interesting. <laughs> that they, that they speak of it like that. Oh yeah, the rising stones suddenly undefended, eh? Hmm, what could happen while well, the scions are away? <laughs> interesting that it came up like that in the quest log. This person, Mira Summertree. She got the fancy armors. All right. Commander Levayer sent word that, that you'd be coming. A veteran of your talents is most welcome. Not that I don't think we can handle the situation, mind you. I've learned a trick or two since the disaster with the Almalja. We're returning to the task at hand. The Flames Reconnaissance Scouts have reported Imperial soldiers assembling at Raubon's push. Such a force is likely interested in only one thing, getting their hands on the resources found here at the processing plant. The Garleans would be marching on us at any time. Pray, speak with the L Lieutenant Edelstein. Edelstein, that we might coordinate our counter strategy. In the meantime, I'll inform the others that you have arrived. No doubt it will be welcome tidings. Problem. The love How am I ever going to use your- Holy shit, I didn't- If you stay still long enough, he fucking sits on your shoulder! Oh my goodness gracious, I love it. <laughs> Took a screenshot. Just my buddy pal, Midgard Somer. <laughs> anyway, let's start to let's keep on going. Adel sign. Corporal Light, my soldiers yet to tell tales of your deeds during Operation Archon. Would that we could sit a while and reminisce about old times, but I fear more pressing matters require our attention. The civilian drought, drought, droughtsmen you see have come across several highly suspicious crates within the boundaries of the processing plant. Bombs? I had my sappers take a look and worse fears were confirmed. These boxes contain powerful explosive devices, devices of imperial design no less. By my order, the flame stationed here are conducting a thorough sweep of the compound as we speak. Though it troubles me that we were unable to apprehend the Imperial spy behind this, I have faith that our men will be able to neutralize the threat for now. In the meantime, our scouts bring troubling news of the latest movements of the Imperial Army. I would once again ask for your aid. All right. Lieutenant Edelstein wishes to share a report with you concerning the Garland's movements. We've been keeping a close eye on the Garlean garrison, and twould seem the Imperials have finally begun to mobilize. According to the reconnaissance report that just came in, the squads seen leaving the Castrum are too few in number to effectively take and hold our position. They will likely mount a swift assault and focus on the acquisition of resources. I have, of course, also shared this report with the Crystal Braves. They decided to take to the field and meet this assault head on. I reprise your fellow scions of the situation and am heartened to know that they will be joining the effort. Pray, report to Lieutenant Alian, and lend your much welcome strength to the counteroffensive. All right. All right, a lot of people to talk to here. Thank right. Be it squad of soldiers or some magic monstrosity, I shall allow no foe to harm the lovely Moonbrita. 
Considering the weapon she wields, I don't believe the lady is in need of additional protection. She's got a huge axe, man. Holy shit. Isn't it beauty? A lady merchant in Revenant's Hole simply gave it to me. Said she was investing in the future or some such. She's giving an axe. Now that is an impressive piece of steel. Have you ever seen Moon swing her axe? Swipe, slice, cleave. There really is no stopping her. Right then, it's time to see if all this training has paid off. Ralgar, guide my blade. Oh, you poor soul. He's 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 going into his like his first battle. All right, Alian. Glad to have you with us, Kelwin. As I'm sure Lieutenant Islesign has explained, the Garleans have deployed a small force from Castor Marianum. Their main column assembles to the north near Dalaman's Talons, but we've also spied several squads attempting to conceal them themselves on the approach to the west. Oh, here's Ilbird. They wish to rush forth and commit a battle with the main column, leaving the detached force free to raid the plant and pillage supplies. Not much of a strategy, but these are desperate men. Captain Ilbird. Greetings, Scion. I understand the commander bids you and your fellows come lend a hand to the Braves. With such mighty heroes at its disposal, the Force should have little trouble contending with aught the Garleans might throw at them. But even you cannot be everywhere at once. The Third was getting restless holed up in Ulda, so I marched them out here to fill any holes in the plant's defenses and add their numbers to your counterattack. The reinforcements are welcome. We have enough soldiers now to divide our forces and safety engage the, safely engage the enemy far beyond the walls. Aye, right, it would be best to avoid staging a battle anywhere near this much as uh, Ceruleum. Let's take this fight to the Garleans. A wise course indeed. I shudder to think of the consequences should any of these storage tanks be exposed to fire. If there is no objections, the Scion shall join the fourth and give battle to this main column. You're with the third, then, Warrior of Light. Your job is to in intercept these squads hiding out to the west and prevent them from reaching the processing plant. When you're ready to proceed, report to Lieutenant Yu Yu Hase. Oh, this son of a bitch. His scouts should have a rough idea of where the Imperials have concealed themselves by now. This is the guy that pointed fingers at Real for not being uh, thorough in his examination, but Real was super thorough. Trust me. <laughs> him way more than I trust you, you Hase. Alright. Let's ride in battle. Chocobo, my new Chocobo armor stuff. I guess we're flying actually in the battle. Sad pen insulator, got it. Yeah, something like that. Would it be... Oh, oh, I'm not sure anyway. A pleasure to be fighting at your side once more, Scion. Our operations invariably succeed when you're around, and victories are won't... Oh, hold on, this guy. When did he give his voice? Pleasure to be fighting at your side once more, Scion. Our operations invariably succeed when you're around, and the victories are won't to pave the road to greater coin. Now this detached force we, we've been sent to eliminate has split into smaller squads. The better to conceal themselves within the terrain hereabouts, I imagine. Only to split ourselves up as well to cover more ground and make sure we root out all of these would-be raiders. And seeing as you're an army unto yourself, I've assigned you with your own areas to scour clean of enemy soldiers. Aye, this will be a simple search and destroy. We'll rendezvous back here when the task is done. Happy hunting, Scion. Mm, I don't like that I'm being sent off alone by you, you Hase. Probably being sent in a wild goose chase while shit's going down. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hello. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Actually, hold on. There you go. 
I use my instant cast. Or I could just be using stone on these guys if I'm just destroying them. Earth sprites or whatever hanging out here, so I don't want to accidentally aggro those, so I think I'm just going to send the part of this shit. Oh dear. Get a little bit of the regen going on myself. Okay, that's it. We gotta go re report back to you, you. Yo, yo, yo. You seem grim, Sion. I take it to mean that between us, more than a few Garleans won't be making it back to the castrum? These Imperials, though they certainly made us earn our pay, I would be a happy man if it if never had to tussle with another one of these those Magitek cores. It is time we bid this war-torn land farewell. I will contact the fourth and let the Lieutenant Alian know that the West is now clear. I would appreciate it if you would do the same when you report to Lieutenant Idelstein. All right, all right, all right. Okay, here he is. I keep on accidentally clicking on Midgar. Corporal Light, what news of the Garleans? Oh, don't mind my dragon breathing fire on you. He's just, a, you know, he's here. <laughs> Their raiding parties are no more than excellent. I mean, so far as I killed some, but you're like, oh no, don't trust the other guys. The Amagina engineers will be the most relieved to hear that the plant is no longer in immediate danger. Thank you again for your assistance. No problem. Lieutenant Alstein appears to be concerned for Moonbrita's well-being. You must be anxious for word of your, fel your fellows. Lieutenant Elian has reported a sound victory over the main column and informs me that the Scions have already turned their attention to other duties. All but one, that is. The Rogadin lady with the large axe? To it appears she has chosen to remain at the site of the battle. So what? I don't know what tasks keep her from returning to civilization, but Northern Thalen is no place to wander alone. Even for a capable sort such as her, I would certainly feel better about things if you could check on her before you continue on your way. Yeah, I gotta make sure my people are okay. Okay, Moonbrita. I keep accidentally clicking Midgard somewhere. Umbrita. Hold on. I won't be a second. You're worrying everybody. Don't go places alone. The beast seemed peckish, so I gave it a taste of my axe. Wow, okay, never mind. You take care of yourself, but still. <laughs> I know, I know. At least let the people know where you're going. Never tires of reminding me. An axe ill becometh the hand of a scholar. <sighs> what can I say? I like axes. To hear my mother tell it, I came into this world holding one. Wow. <laughs> wow. I mean, all right, dude. You can, you can, you can study shit and still uh, fucking kick ass. I mean, and why not both? It's not as if it stopped me picking up a quill, is it? Hmm. <laughs> I often think of the man who introduced me to the joys of learning. He's one of the reasons I decided to come to Eorzea. Him and my excruciatingly stiff childhood friend. Considering how Riyashi? unlike we are, it's a wonder we ever got on. <laughs> the world's a strange old place, isn't it? 
Indeed. Aye, that ought to do it. This the the test run? How'd it do? Or are you just like attuning it in and we're gonna see if we can so draw far, power so from good. it later? At these concentrations, it shouldn't matter too much if something goes awry. Just enough ether to make it interesting. Oh dear, okay. Did you see that? The way the crystal glowed? I ch I certainly saw that. The It'd have to be works, blind, I'm happy to say. To. With a few refinements, it should satisfy our appetite for ether. Which just leaves the small matter of forging our blade. I'm not sure how to go about it just yet, but I swear to find a way. I'll put a blade in your hands if it's the last thing I do. Oh, foreshadowing. Mayhaps? She senses me. A useful talent. Oh fuck, I can sense him, the fucking- But I, am I deprived of the blessing, uh, Highland Blessing, so I can't see him? No, 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 I certainly have the echo. But I sense the darkness. Who the fuck is this? Is this Laha? Get the fuck out. Hanassian, are they onto us? Well, now they certainly are, fucking moon breed. I don't give a shit away. <laughs> By your brand, I see you are an Archon of Charlian, keeper of knowledge, seeker of truth, meddler. Oh, it's Nebrelia's. I think I gave this guy a completely different voice. Seeker of truth, meddler. I don't know what the hell you're from saying, Nassian. but I don't much like your tone. Oh shit, I'm of the shit. Watch out, man. He nasty, and man. Can just go out and ask, man. Spoopy. <laughs> Your instincts serve you well. But come, be not unsettled on my account. That lovely brow was not made for frowns. Ah, uh, but I waste my breath. Wow, dude. Wow. Don't be unsettled by my account just sneaking up on you and being all evil and shit. What's unsettling about that? Let me direct my words to one who understands them. Oh right, they we can't understand at them. Last, warrior of light. He's talking in the darkness I shit. I am Nabrialis. Okay. And you have long been a thorn in my side. I suffered the overweening presence of Lahabrea that men might host the power of gods, only for you to undo my hard work. Oh, she's she going in. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh, bugger. Oh. Oh. Um, Brita, you tried last. I appreciate it. You must concede that I acted in self-defense. But what's this? I do not sense the blessing of light. Say what? I'm hiding it super well. <laughs> totally still oh, here, though. Oh, dear. Could it be that frail Heidlin has forgotten her champion? This I did not foresee. Shorn of light as you are, you are no longer a threat. And better yet, the seal is broken. What seal? Fucking Midgard Somer, what shit are you fucking up for me here? Oh my god, Midgard Somer, you son of a gun. Even though you super cute dragon, follow me around. How you gotta be like this? Why do you do this shit? Also, you interest me, bitch. I don't need no blessing of light to kick your ass. Now is the time to claim the staff. What staff? With it in my grasp, I shall rise above them all and take my place at Lord Zodiac's right hand. Okay. What did that bastard want with us? 
Well, he said a lot of crap. Um, don't know why he was here exactly. Uh, or why he decided to reveal himself. Um, so we don't know anything about that, but, uh, so he said, you know, he goes to claim the staff and become the right hand of the Zodiac, his god, and, you know, that's not good news anyway. He also knew that I didn't really have a close Not realist, he calls himself. <laughs> With oh, yeah, and that like was that, his name. I'll bet he has maidens falling at his feet. Unconscious. <laughs> but this staff... You say just talking about it had the bastard grinning like a brat on his name day. <laughs> Must be quite a staff. Hmm. Oh, Something's gods. Amiss. He means Tupsimati, Master Louis Soir's staff. Oh, is that the only high magical staff in the fucking area? Minfilia's in danger. We have to get back to the Rising Stones. Of fucking course, the quest text that the the, the, the fucking quest log that was just like, hmm, leaving the Rising Stones without her mighty champions. Of course, it was gonna be attacked. Oh fucking hell! Who attacks me now? <laughs> Oh, you son of a gun, you respawned, did ya? You want a bit of round two? I'm gonna back the frig out. Oh, yeah, fuck, there's another one. Right, the Asian is absent to Samati. Then we'd best make all haste back to the Rising Stone. Mufilia must be warned. I'm on it. Return. Yes, let's get back to her. Let's get back immediately. If you're not going with me, you gotta report back to the place and let them know you're safe, or else they're gonna be like, oh shit, we're both out here. But you know, danger calls. Mufilia! Shit, I keep on accidentally clicking Midgar somewhere. <laughs> Minfilia! The fucking Asians! Oh shit, you got back here fast, lady! You're here! Oh, you got way back, way back. Master Louis Swass out is here in the solar, isn't it? Quickly now! Buzz down the door, Minfilia! You safe? Asians, man! Oh fuck, it's gone. Was the Blessing of Light the only thing protecting it? You too! Oh, thank God she's got it. Oh, thank goodness you're safe, lass. So, you were able to divine my intent. I mean, what you went now, on about it. warrior of light? Ah, but that name is no longer fitting. You have become decidedly dull and quite incapable of barring my entry. Not yet, bitch. What do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean? Was just my presence here enough to protect this place? I mean, it's pr she's had the staff for quite a while, I mean, right? You couldn't have come in whatever other time? You truly do not know. Then I suppose it is only right that I enlighten you. The Blessing of Light kept you and your fellow meddlers safe. It was that which prevented my kind from entering your domain. Mm, yet Elidibus came here, right? Or he, he went to the Waking Sands. I mean, Elidibus was here. Like, and, these, and the Scions have been acting and have had the staff for five years before I even came around. My kind, I say. Though it had no power over the likes of oh. Elidibus and La Habrea, being of this world, they could come and go as they please, while I could only look on. Interesting. What does that mean? You from one of the other worlds? My kind, he says. But I need look no longer. Now that the seal is gone, I mean to act. Unlike the others, I am not given to waiting. I shall take that staff 
and bring about the next rejoining. Rejoining? Then it was your doing. The Isle of Val, the Scholars, all of it. Maybe. This bitch. Back out. Right you Russian. You will not harm her. Oh, thank God, when Breed is going in. <laughs> oh fuck, she dead. Why didn't I go in? Moonbreeder! Why must you insist on forcing my hand? Did you learn nothing from our last meeting? She had to try. Ah, but I forget. My words fall upon deaf ears. I mean, she did get her, her ass, like, the guy blocked her with, like, a finger, so, like, she knew she would probably couldn't do that, so she was just rushing in because she had to. She couldn't do nothing. The Breed staff is but a broken relic, a memorial to the departed. What possible use could you have for it? Clearly something. What use? You mean to say that all this time you kept the key, never knowing what it was you possessed? The key? The staff Tupsimati or rather the stone tablet it bears, is host to a great power. Oh shit, but isn't that like, this looks like half of the tablet. Together with the horn, it can be used to draw vast quantities of ether from its bearer's surroundings. How else do you think Louis Soir was able to invoke the power of the Twelve without making them an offering of crystals? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Interesting. So you're saying he couldn't summon the twelve like he would primal? Like what happened? Summoning here? requires not only prayer, but a profusion of ether. Even a child knows that. If I did not know before, you may be certain I do now. But above all, I know that we cannot allow this staff to fall into your hands. I will die before I let you take it. Shit, man. He would be like, all right, I'm happy to oblige. Insufferable woman. I would happily end your miserable life here and now. Alas, Elidibus would never let me hear the end of it. Why? What does Elidibus want with you? Very well. With us. If you will not part with the staff, I will take you too. Oh shit, kidnapping. Let me do something, come on. Oh shit, oh fuck. Go, run! Why you not move? Jump in with her. I allowed him to have that little look back moment. Look, my character takes too long to act. I guess Moonbrita's here dying. Well, that's unfortunate. Bru Moonbrita, are you yet not dead? After them! Quickly! Before the rift closes! Yeah, why didn't I fucking jump through, dude? Okay, I nod. Why did I take this moment? Am I going? Are we going? Am I being lured to my death? The Chrysalis, now I- oh shit, is this a dungeon? Ah, oh, friggin' Asians. Alright. Not have Brelas in the, the Chrysalis. Alright, hold on. We have to look up a guide. I want to know what I'm getting into. Oh, here we go. All right, all right, here we go. Oh, num, num. This fight seems pretty intense, so. Hey, Henry. Oh, it's the freaking this is th this arena wasn't here last time we were here at the freaking seats. It's freaking hang hanging freaking Minfilia there. That's gotta hurt hanging in that position. Where's the staff?
fucking nab realities. Oh, you creepy motherfucker. Symbol is very triangly. Remember to save when we break free for the ball. Gonna leave that to Samurai or Reaper, they say. Medica, there we go. Well, I fucked up. I didn't realize that orbs like blast you back. Uh, so I went a bit too gung ho there. Sit with friends. Free casting. Okay. My region going. Um, are we dying? What was that? Last us forever, right? What are we doing? What are we doing? 
do not want to be in that. Oh, holy shit. Oh, holy shit, this is spooky. Oh, holy shit. Sure, cast so oh he didn't he already got rest okay thank goodness okay let's use benediction oh fucking hell dude our tank is dying okay we did it though we did it we did it Missilia saved. Yay. Oh, okay, goodness gracious. Oh, everybody already gone. Minfilia, my thanks. That's what it Alright, we did it. Yay. We're back. And Must we have the stuff. Thank the Twelve. Mubria, you're not dead. Thank goodness. You're still dying. Oh, what the fuck is this? Oh, he back here? What is it shaking? What's happening? Darkness? Is it Laha? No, he just respawned? Like, what is this? You may have bested me this day, but what of the next? What of all the days to come? We'll best you in. Remember, light no longer holds sway here. I may return whensoever I wish, again and again and again. Eventually, you will falter, and the staff will be mine. Until next time, Scions. Well, we'll just have to kill you permanently. You son of a bitch. Poor Moonbrita. I think she feels very helpless. No, wait, you gonna do it now, dude? We gonna do it now? There will be no next time. This is the end. Holy shit, we're gonna do it. Be consumed, bitch. You can just do that? Just point someone and their soul gets consumed? Or is it particularly an Asian? Like, it's because it's because they're currently existing without a form right now? What? What trickery is this? Be trapped, bitch. No. No. You cannot. No. Use Tube Samati to gather ether. Quickly, before he breaks free. I can do that with a Mumbria's thing. I can do that with Tube Samati? Just from the land or like what? There's lots of ether here. Concentrate. Call to mind the time you struck down Lahabrea with the Blade of Light. Holy shit. Rawr. <laughs> Is it enough? Why won't it work? Is it because we lack the blessing of light? Damn it. 
so much ether, and it still isn't enough. Fools! No mortal prison can contain me! I shall make you pay for your insolence! It's time for the power of friendship. Everybody, link your ether to mine. Oh, fucking hell. We're going Kamehameha battles. Fucking wizard Please, lightning battle right here. Mother Heidelin, hearken to our plea. Lend us your divine light. She hasn't spoken to us. Why can you not hear us? Do our words no longer reach you? Amphilia, this isn't it's time for crisis of faith. A bit more ether. You're holding it in your hand, lass. Moonbreeder, what are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? Master Louis Soir, I understand oh, now. Oh, fuck now. The choice you made. Moonbreeder, we need you. Don't do this. We can try with this bastard another day. Like he said, he'll come back. In death, there is life. <laughs> Farewell, Orion Is it because you're dying anyway? To you, you think? You're more used to us alive, Moonbrita. The foreshadowing, though, I called it, though. I'll put a blade in your hand as this if, if it's the last thing I do. The fucking death flags. Don't do it, lass. Don't do it, lass. I can still fight it. Moonbreeder! Don't do no! it. No! You mustn't! Staggler, Minfilia! <laughs> Tackle her to the fucking ground! Oh, I'm gonna murder you, son of a bitch. What? No! She it, adds her fucking it cannot ether. End. Take this, Nahabrelles, with the full force of Moonbria's fucking life. I am eternal! I am immortal! Bitch. But at too great a cost. Moonbreeder. She's... She's gone. Yeah. Fucking as sacrifice to her fucking life. Moonbreeder, you crazy son of a bitch. Wasn't worth it. We could have beaten him again. You did it, my friend. The Asian is dead. God, I hope so. Is it confirmed? Because <laughs> you know those bitches have fucked off before and came back. This device but I guess is a so. legacy of Moonbreeder's toils and sacrifice. All right. I shall hold on to it for safekeeping. Okay. Like, I don't know how many Asians are out there, but if Laha, Brea, like, Laha, Brea, and fucking Elibus can come and go here as they please. Like, I don't know what the staff is. And was it just Nebreales? There was, like, a whole bunch of other Asians that were on those seats or whatever. Now, we don't know that, but, you know, like, they just come, like, we're in danger. <laughs> Minfilia, uh, are you all right? Did I send a message to the others to let them know? Because, you know, like, they were all out there at the front. Like, hey, guys. Yeah, shit's, uh... Maybe I said a, sent a bird. I was at my chocobo being like, hey. Take this. Let them know. Let them know shit go down. I am. But Mumbrita's dead, dudes. Oh, 
We were surveying northern Thanalan when we received the distress call. Oh, did you use the link pearl? Distress call coming all right? We returned as swiftly as we were able. Guys, the fucking Asians killed Marita. It seems you have everything in hand, however. Sh she went down, Gagrid. We're safe now. What happened here? Where is Moonbreeder? She's fucking dead. She gave her life to temper the Blade of Light. I... I have no words. That's a fucking great sacrifice. I don't think it was worth it. The amount of use to us she could still yet be in life. We could have killed Nahabreles another day. Rather than await the inevitable, she took her fate into her own hands. Well, I mean, assuming she was going to die from that wound. Does... does Arianji know? No, this shit just happened. Did you hear at the doorway, dude? My friend. There is something I must tell you. I heard all, my lady. I had to compose myself outside. The moon sinketh, taking her leave of the heavens. Yet her passing heraldeth the coming of a new day. <laughs> Moonbreeder hath fulfilled her destiny, hath she not? Fuck that. She had a lot yet to give. Long ago, far across the seas in the Charlean motherland, Moonbreeder and I did study under the sage tutelage of Master Louis Swa. Full off did he impress upon us that knowledge existeth to serve the greater good. This sentiment, however, was contrary to the nation's policy of neutrality, which censured intercedence in the affairs of foreign lands. In spite of vehement opposition, he founded the Circle of Knowing and journeyed hitherto the heart of Eorzea. Through his noble sacrifice was the realm spared its doom. Louis Sawa was the best of us. Yet this great soul, whom all should rightly have honored, was branded a pariah in his own land. His peers did accuse him of forsaking his duty as a man of learning, and of meddling in the course of history. Knowledge isn't to be... hoarded. It's to be shared. Unless it's forbidden, dangerous knowledge, in which case it is to be... stricken from history or steeled away. Great distinction. When he left Charleon behind, Master Louis Soir gave no word to signal his intent to Moonbreeder. Close as they were, as master and disciple, she was deeply wounded by the sudden exclusion from his confidence. Above all, however, she was confused. Try as she might, she could ill comprehend her master's motive. The slanders that were heaped upon him after his passing served only to inflame the turmoil within her. Her last words was she understood. For years upon end, she knew not what to believe. Torn as she was, twixt the man whom she revered, and the man who forsook her and his duty both. Yeah, he should have maybe told her, but maybe he thought that if she told her, she would come with him. The Louis Soir I knew would never forsake his duty. 
much less one of his own. Rightly so. This I know full well, my lady. Twas not for want of love that Master Louis Soir hid his intent. He but desired that Moonbreeder discover her own path, free of the shadow of his influence. Long did I contemplate revealing the truth to her, and long did I hold my peace. After all, was it not Master Louis Soir's wish that she come to the truth unaided? Uh, I told myself it was, and resolved to let her suffer. It's dumb. Communicate, people. Communicate. Don't let people guess. Knowingly did I deny my friend the comfort she And let relationships deteriorate like this. And now she hath gone to her rest, with doubt still in her heart. I don't think so. I say this. Speakest thou in earnest? Did Moonbreeder truly come to understand Master Louis Soir's will before the end? That's what she said. She understood his sacrifice. Uh, the realization hath set her free. She may now find the peace which hath for so long eluded her. Oh, Moonbreeder. My dearest. How oh, I shall miss thee. I'll miss her too. She seemed pretty great. She had a fierce spirit. Moonbreeder gave her life that we might possess the means to defeat the Asians. Her sacrifice must not be in vain. Let us continue her work on the Blade of Aether and see it to completion. Fuck yeah. Every Blade of Aether we use in Anassian from here on out. It's got a piece of Moonbreeder with us. My lady, I would mourn Moonbreeder in mine own way. I beg your permission to return to the Waking Sands. Do what you gotta do, Orianger. Of course, my You're friend. You're the closest to her. Take all the time you require. We shall be here should you have need of us. Will we be here, though? Will we be here? <laughs> Oof, lordy, guys. Oh, my goodness gracious. All right, well, I think I'm going to end it there and we'll come back exactly here where I leave off my character. I don't want to start shit. I don't want to. I think that's a good ending point. I don't want to start shit and don't know where this shit is going. So we'll leave it here. Um, thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, have a good day, night, whatever time zone. Be safe out there and take care of yourselves.